Well, bird lovers beware, don't feed your little cute friends. A warning still stands tonight from the Connecticut Audubon Society as they try to figure out what's killing songbirds. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan is joining us live at the mobile newsroom from the Rose Garden at Mohegan Park in Norwich. And Kevin, this is pretty serious. Aaron, it's deadly serious. As a matter of fact, though, there is enough natural food in the environment for the birds to enjoy right now. But they're saying that this deadly killer is now abating. A mysterious illness is killing songbirds on the eastern seaboard, including Connecticut. The Connecticut Audubon Society says recent evidence was discovered in Danbury, New Milford, and West Hartford. Some of them uh, are exhibiting neurological sy symptoms, and some of them are, have crusty eyes. Pat Commons tells me signs of a problem first started back in April in the Maryland, Virginia area. I thought it might have had something to do with the um, periodical cicadas, the 17-year cicada outbreak that was down there. Now with the DEP, they're asking bird lovers not to feed their flying friends or offer them water. Clean the feeders as well as the baths with 10% bleach solution. Don't touch. Keep pets away. And use proper disposal with gloves as a barrier to seal in the birds in a double plastic bag. We visited the Roger Tory Peterson Estuary Center in Old Lyme. Claudia Weicker chairs their board and is an avid bird lover. Not to do anything really, which would cause the birds to congregate in one place and perhaps spread whatever disease it is that's killing them. Local retailers have posted signs warning people about the unknown bird illness. It's tough to rule out, you know, one cause or another. And, and unfortunately, we don't know what's causing these deaths, um, but they all have similar uh, uh, symptomology. There's plenty of flowers out there for the birds, the bees, the butterflies. It's safe. They have enough food and we want to get the disease under control before the fall migration. Now, the Connecticut Audubon Society says as soon as they see this starting to ease up and there's no more of a die-off, they're going to post the alert so let everybody know the bird lovers can start feeding their birds again, as well as the DEP. And as soon as that happens, we'll have it on the Channel 3 app. If you want to learn more, we have a link on the Channel 3 app. Live at the Mobile Newsroom in Norwich, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.